So I'm here with Dane. We we're talking uh, a, a little bit about some of the, the clients that we're working with. He's one of our project managers here and you know, helps to bring the projects to life and the businesses to life. And we wanted to kind of address and, and chat a little bit about some of the obstacles we face, what we've been noticing with some of the, the new entrepreneurs and kind of like things that, that we're noticing. I think the first thing I wanted to talk about was like the, uh, the idea of, of time put into a business. Do, do you notice that sometimes uh, the people that we work with get a sense that like they don't necessarily need to put a lot of time of their own time into this or, or what what have you kind of seen recently well I, th I think a lot of times uh, the clients are really focused on like the actual clothing and the product but they don't realize that they're actually starting a business and they need to be set up you know with shipping accounts and reseller licenses and just be uh, just have a business mindset rather than just like making cool clothes and we do make cool clothes but I find that sometimes when we don't have some of the uh, you know artwork set up some of the um, you know just just basic logistics of the business set up it slows down the process and it, it gets kind of frustrating to uh, actually to the point of like delaying production and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. and I think, look, and, and we also want to take this opportunity to just be honest with you guys about some of the things that we struggle with because at the end of the day, we're building companies and it's hard to build a company. It's hard to build our organization, it's hard to build your organization. And so one of, you know, one of the things that, that we kind of notice is that uh, the brands that are really just focused on, the, on just product only, it, it gets tricky because they're not, they're not they're forgetting the rest of, the, of that part. I mean, what do you think are some things that they could do to, to refocus then? Um, like right from the get-go, um, start your labels early. Okay. So we don't want to get to, you know, in a situation where we have, you know, 300 shirts cut, sewn, and ready to go, and yeah. we're waiting for labels. Oh, guess what? Labels, lead time, three to four weeks easily. So we're delaying production three to four weeks. Yeah. You know? Um, not having color standards, so they, you know, a lot of customers they go online, they look at Pantone colors that they like, and they just pick them out, send us the numbers. But we need number one, Pantone TCX numbers. Mm -hmm. and number two, we really do want physical color standards, like an actual shirt that you have that you love this color, so we can hit that color versus just looking at a computer screen and trying to guess that color. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Things that are that you know you're gonna want up front and that we can work on early. I mean, artwork is a big one. We were talking about that today in our all team meeting is how sometimes we get really held up because we, we're we waiting on artwork from, from our clients. Uh, and so if, if you're in the position where you you like want to get started and, and you don't have a logo, uh, you know you're gonna need artwork, you know you're gonna need these, these types of digital assets, uh, it'd be really helpful for us if you guys would would focus on that early, or even just letting us know, because we have you know a lot of our project managers are graphic designers too, and so we have we have graphic designers on staff. I think it's about acknowledging what is needed to 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 knock out early, so that we don't wait until the end and then and then we realize oh there's this extra piece of artwork right that we need to add. I mean I think like basically we just want to have kind of like an open dialogue about some of the some of the things that we see hold up uh, projects and and kind of like make it fizzle because for us we really focused on building companies uh, that are going to be around in a few years not just people that are making products just for the heck of it and so we're always we're, we're constantly looking at things that we can do to to make your business stronger to make it better um, the number one thing that we like we talked about before is just you being present like if this is something that you're gonna do like we're all in we're all in on this so if you're not all in, it's not gonna work. Like you have to, even if you do have uh, some other side job or something else that you're doing, like, like I understand that, we get that. But at the same time, there has to be a serious time commitment for you to be putting into solving problems because you don't know what, what's gonna come up. You don't know what those problems are gonna be and you, you really need to make sure that the business side is, is tackled and you, you have a plan. And if you're not a business person, make sure that you get help or you reach out to us, you say, hey, like, I wanna make sure that I have a clear plan on the financial side so that uh, you know, as soon as production is done, like, we already have a list of 10,000 people to send out our, our products to. Um, and so these are some of the things that we want you to think about as you're, even you're in that product stage and you're just trying to figure out what you wanna make, 
Think about what happens in six months, what other resources will you need, and, and who else can we bring in to like build the perfect team for you. Yeah, and I think just the nature of production is um, you do have variables that you have no control over. You know, uh, die houses get backed up, screen printers get backed up. So many things we just, you know, don't have control over. So instead of, you know, worrying about that, let's just focus on the things like we do have control over and make sure our, you know, artwork is, you know, ready to go. Make sure our color standards are ready to go. Make sure our labels are already in process, you know. So that when these other things do come up, it can, you know, it will delay, you know, production, but, you know, we can minimize, you know, the delay, you know. Yeah, exactly. These are just a, a couple of things. And, and we want to know, you know, comment below. Let us know some of the things that you're working through, some challenges that you're having. I mean, in, our, in the Facebook group, a lot of people get hung up on sourcing. And it's okay. You guys can source yourself. I mean, we want to give you all the tools to be able to do what you can, whether you work with us or not. Uh, but I had a meeting yesterday, and uh, the, the, the lady who brought in her, her samples, she, she had just found stuff downtown LA and, and, and she knew that she was never going to have that again. So it's kind of shooting yourself in the foot when you source fabric that you can never access again. Uh, don't do that. Find fabric that you're, is going to be accessible for production, for future runs, so that you don't run in these situations where you spend a lot of time developing and, and, and creating your collection only to have to go backwards. Uh, again, the, bit, the clearest thing for us is just tying it all together so that six months, a year down the road, you have everything that you need. You know what your supply chain looks like. You have all of your patterns, they're digital, and you have a really clean foundation to move forward with. Um, and if you can pair that with just the urgency, the sense of urgency to get your products to market, we will match that urgency, I promise you that. We will be there, our team will be there, pushing you forward to get you to market. We don't, there, there's no point for us to be stuck in the development phase for months. We really. Uh, if, if anything, our team is, is pushing our clients to make decisions, move to the next phase, and get you into production. And the other thing when, when we talk about production is just making sure that you have the financial capability to go into production. And you know, this is a, a, being that this is a product business, it's just, it's unrealistic to, um, to get started with no funds. And it's okay if your strategy relies somewhat on uh, Kickstarter or some of these other uh, types of uh, fundraising platforms, but even doing that requires a significant uh, investment and planning so that you have a lot of people that are seeing it and can go and, and, and kind of like support it. So ask yourself, ask your project manager, ask your team, ask anybody who you're working with what kind of money you need to actually put this together. And we'll give, we'll give you a really good sense in the kickoff meeting what it's going to be from a development perspective and I always am happy to run numbers with with our clients because you, you have to make some assumptions okay assuming it's going to be for this type of garment $15 per unit times 300 units times 10 styles and you, you can you can just do the simple math and identify okay this is a 20,000 a 50,000 80,000 dollar production order I'll be making 250k on it this is my gross, how much do I have there to spend on marketing, and put together like a plan uh, so that it's not a surprise. We, we don't want um, like the, the production process to be a surprise. We want to go seamlessly from development into production so you have an inventory that you can sell at a profit and really start to ramp up your business. Anything else? Cool, so I mean, th that's basically what we wanted to chat about. Let us know where you guys are at. And uh, we, we want to continuously improve on our end and find ways to, to help our brands get to the next level. And uh, so these are some of the things that would really help us. Let us know how we can help you. Talk to you soon.